Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Path. In this video, I'm going to introduce about standard costing and variance analysis. What is standard costing? Before that, I'll explain what is standard. Usually, we will uh, term standard means a norm or a measure or a yardstick with which the comparison can be made. So, in this meaning, we will have a meaning on what is standard cost. It's a predetermined cost which is calculated from management standards of efficient operation. It is used as a basis for fixing a price or for cost control through variance analysis. Standard costs are calculated on scientific basis. Why I mention this point on a scientific basis? Because sometimes the meaning of estimated cost as well as the meaning of standard costs may interrelate it. But when you are talking about the scope and objectives, it, uh, the standard cost has more wider scope as well as it has a specific objectives because it has calculated on a scientific basis, not on the past experience. But estimated cost is always calculated based on past experience. So I can say standard cost is very effective because uh, the, the uh, standards, whatever fixed by the company, that is revealed to all the employees. So the involvement of the employees or more, they know the standards, what is fixed by the company. And that is the yardstick for them. And they will evaluate their performance, what is the standard fixed by the company. So this is called it as standard cost. So by understanding this meaning, we'll move on to the standard costing system. What is standard costing system? Just look at this slide. It is very helpful in preparing the standard cost as well as use of standards for uh, like if you are running a company, we need materials, we need labors. For the labors, we need to give wages and we need to uh, measure the sales for the various years. What is the sales for this year? What could be the sales for the next year? So we will fix the standard for each year, like uh, what is the cost as well as for the sales. So what are the standards we are using? And after the incidents happen, we used to, uh, that is, compare the standards with our actual. Say, for example, uh, in a company, uh, the, uh, the production manager estimates the material cost will be, that is, standard cost, standard material cost will be 2000 for this week. But actually, it was incurred 2500 So I repeat this example the standard cost for a material estimated by the production manager was rupees 2000 but actual cost as incurred is 2500 so it's a not a favorable position for a company it is an adverse position for the company so we need to uh, look at this situation what are the reasons behind this what are the causes behind this why this variance occurs and how we will have a control over the cost so this is the way how the standard costing system is applied in the companies. So look at this slide. Standard costing system is very helpful in preparing the standard cost and we can make use of standards in various areas. And we used to compare the standard cost with our actual cost, as well as analyzing the variance. As I told you now, no? variance means it's a difference between the actual and the standard. Uh, under our example, the standard is 2000 metal cost, but the actual cost input is 2500. So, this is the difference that is called as what is that variance. And we once we calculated the variance, the variance either may be a favorable or uh, adverse situation for the company. So, we need to analyze the reasons behind it, the causes behind this, and we need to discuss these points. And uh, next, in uh, next uh, uh, future, we need to develop the things, how to reduce the cost in the future, how to boost up the sales in the future. In the next slide, I explain what is variance analysis. It is the process of analyzing variances 
by subdividing the total variance in such a way that the contributory causes for any deviations are bought light and the management can pinpoint responsibility for substandard performance. So look at the point one by one. What is variance analysis means? It is a process of analyzing variances. What are the variances? The variances may occur in the, the three elements of cost, the materials or the way, uh, labor or the overheads. Overheads means what are all the indirect expenses or collectively called as overheads. So what are the variances in the company? And subdivide the total variance in this sense, material cost and then labor cost and then overheads cost as well as sales. So in this way, we need to subdivide the cost variances as well as the sales variances. And the contributory causes means what are the reasons behind why the variance occurs? Either the variance may be adverse or favorable. And such deviations are bought light and the management can pinpoint the responsibility for any substandard performance. So this is the use of the variance analysis of the companies. Under this, I need to uh, uh, explain first thing, the computation of variances. The computation of variances as cost variances as well as sales variances. So under cost variances, what is cost variances? First of all, we'll discuss. Total cost variance is the difference between the standard cost for the actual output and the total uh, actual total cost incurred. Say for example, standard cost I told you uh, for producing uh, 10 units, I need, uh, that is uh, the standard cost is 2000 only, I fix it. But the actual total cost happened is 2500. So this is the way how I can interpret the variances under cost category. So once again, read that sentence. The total cost variance is the difference between the standard cost for the actual output and the actual total cost incurred. The total cost variance can be subdivided as follows. It can be a material variances. It can be a labor variances. It can be a overhead variances. And then overhead, I already mentioned the meaning. All direct uh, indirect costs are collectively call it as overhead variances. Next, we'll discuss about the other that is first one is first one is cost variances. The next thing is the variances can be subdivided into two. One is cost variances, another one is sales variances. So under sales variances, we have value variance, price variance, volume, mix, and quantity variances. So first we will deal about the material variances. So under material variances, we have direct material variances. So how to uh, interpret the results under direct material cost variances means first we must know the meaning. What is direct material cost variances? It is a difference between standard direct material cost for the actual output and the actual cost of the direct material used. Look at the formula. Standard cost for actual output minus actual cost of materials used. So how to calculate the standard cost for actual output means standard price into standard quantity of material for actual output minus how to calculate the actual cost of material used. Actual price into actual quantity of material used. So the short format for this formula is SP into SQ minus AP into AQ. So this is the formula you need to apply whenever you are going to calculate the direct material cost variance. In the next slide, we discuss about uh, direct material price variance. How to calculate the direct material price variance? What is the meaning of direct material price variance? It is a portion of direct material cost variance, which is due to the difference between the standard price specified and the actual price paid. Uh, say for example, uh, for in case of paying the wages to the labor, okay, uh, we estimated we uh, put the standard to pay the labor as two thousand rupees. Due to the inflation or some reasons, we need to increase the salary of a labor. So likewise, uh, the material cost also may increase suddenly uh, due to any reason. The material cost may also increase so what is the price we are going to give for the materials so what is the standard price already we fixed it and we need to compare the actual price 
So it is a portion of the direct metric cost variance, which is due to the difference between the standard price specified and the actual price paid. So what is the formula to calculate direct material price variance means standard cost of actual material used minus actual cost of material used. So the formula is AQ into SP minus AP, actual quantity into standard price minus actual price. So just look at the problem. What is the actual quantity uh, given? And you need to compare the standard price with your actual price and multiply the actual quantity. So if the actual quantity is not given in the problem means you need to calculate the actual quantity by using this formula metal purchase plus opening stock of material minus closing stock of material. So this is the way how you can calculate the direct material price variance. The third thing I'm going to discuss with you direct metal usage or quantity variance. So what is direct metal usage variance means? It's a difference between the standard cost of the standard quantity of material for actual output and the standard cost of the actual material used. So how to calculate the metal usage? What is the quantity we are going to use? And then what is a yardstick fixed? I mean the standard fixed for the usage of material but actually what we used. So that is the difference we are going to talk about in the direct material usage or quantity variance. Now look at this formula, how to calculate this answer means standard price into, within this bracket, you must have this formula, standard quantity for actual output minus actual quantity used. So SP into SQ minus AQ within the brackets. And if standard quantity for actual uh, output is not given, look at this formula, standard quantity of metal for per unit of output into actual output units. So this is the way how you can calculate the standard quantity of metal for actual output if it is not available in the problem. So the formula to calculate the direct metal usage is SP into SQ minus AQ. Now, the fourth one we are going to discuss in this video is, is all about direct metal mixed variance. How to calculate the direct metal mixed variance. Sometimes this, uh, that is this standards, this variance we need to calculate when we are using more than one material for the production purpose. So mind it, one more, again I am repeating, what is the occasion? Why we need to calculate this variance means when our production involves more than one material we are using more than one material for the production purpose means we need to calculate the direct material mix variance so what is mixed variance the mixed variance has to be computed only when two or more materials are used wherever the production is with a use of material not a single material mixed variance is ignored so in case your production is single by using a single material means you need not apply the direct material mixed variance if your production involves more than uh, a single material means you need to apply this direct material mix variance. So it's a difference between the standard cost of standard mix of the material in actual quantity and the standard cost of the actual quantities used. Look at the formula, standard price into revised standard quantity minus actual quantity. The short form is SP into RSQ minus AQ. How to calculate the RSQ? If the RSQ is not given in the problem, it is not available means apply this formula. Total weight of actual mix divided by total weight of standard mix, the whole multiplied by standard quantity of each material. So this is the way how you can apply the direct metal mix variance where your production involves more than one material, then how to calculate that metal mix variance by calculating the RSQ and then how to work out. So RSQ formula is mentioned over here. Apply this formula to calculate the RSQ, then calculate the metal mix variance. And the next thing, the final formula applies in the metal cost variances is direct metal yield variance. Yield variance usually arises due to contingencies like spoilage, chemical reactions, substandard quality of metal, etc. Any negative yield variance is a direct loss of production. It is a portion of direct metal usage variance 
it's a difference between the standard yield specified and the actual yield of time so look at this formula what formula we need to apply in those situations so this variance we can use it when any situations occurs any a spoilage or chemical reaction or substandard quality of material or materials damage so we need to calculate this variance in case positive variance means so no problem and negative variance is always a danger to a company because it's a direct loss of the production so how to apply that how to calculate that direct metal variance yield variance means by applying this formula standard cost per unit of output into within the brackets i mentioned over here standard yield for actual material minus actual yield so by applying this formula you will come to know what is the metal yield variance if you are getting a positive uh, answer then it will be a no or it will not be a problem for the company but when you are getting a negative variance it's a direct loss for the production so this is the way how you can calculate the variances under material just have a recap the first thing i discussed direct metal cost variances and direct metal cost variances is a combination of direct metal price variance and direct metal usage variance okay so how in sometimes the problem may ask you what is the direct metal cost variance means once you calculate the metal price variance and metal usage variance you combine those values to calculate the direct metal cost variance when we are working out the problem you will understand what i am trying to explain to you so we discuss what is the formula applicable for calculating direct metal cost variance direct material price variance direct material usage variance and then direct metal mix variance and then direct metal yield variance so what are the formulas applicable for each variance we discuss in this video um i hope this video will help you to understand the application of formulas under standard costing and variance analysis for material variances in next video i will start explaining problems and solutions in material variances if you want more videos like this please subscribe share and comment below thanks for watching stay home stay safe